In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and to use my beanbag monopod camera support. It's a very handy tool. Rather than attaching the monopod to the camera, I can just flip it up when I need to take a picture and rest the camera on the beanbag. High shots, low shots, really low shots, It provides the support I need when I need it, without encumbering the camera. And it also makes a really good walking stick. It's there when you need it. Just put it in place, set the camera on top, and you can get nice steady shots. So what do you need to make one of these bean bags? Well, first of all, you need some kind of pouch. Ideally, a pouch that zips fully open so that you can get inside to work on it. This one happens to be a Zeiss pouch. I have a lot of these laying around from my time at Zeiss, and it's the ideal thing, not only because it opens fully, but because on the back, it has a belt loop and that adds stability and an, another layer on the back that helps you to mount it. Now, I made an original version of this that I carried for years that finally disappeared from my luggage on the way back from Costa Rica on my last trip in December. So this is version number two, and I'm going to do it slightly differently, but the same basic principles apply, and you may have to adapt. Depending on what kind of pouch you can find, you may have to adapt how you mount the mounting hardware. The mounting hardware consists of what are called T-nuts. This is two different varieties. I'm going to try to use this one this time. They also come with three prongs here to drive into the bottom of a wooden chair leg. That's the type I used on my first try and it's fine, except that you have to deal with those sharp prongs some way. And I found that they were very difficult to bend over inside the pouch. Now, the great thing about T-nuts is that they come in exactly the right size for tripod mounts. This one is a one quarter by 20, and it's the standard American size. They also come in three eighths by 20, and that is the standard European size tripod. So. We'll try this this time. And to facilitate that, I have a number of neoprene fender washers. That's what they're called. And I'm going to build up the right thickness. I'm going to put one of these on the outside, inside the belt loop, and one on the inside. You also, of course, need something to fill the bean bag with. Now, you could use regular beans, like black beans, or you could use rice, or you could use the little white plastic beads that they fill pillows with. But this is barley husk, and this is actually a filling that is used for yoga pillows and for yoga mats. You can buy it in craft stores. Unfortunately, you have to buy a lot when you buy it. The smallest package I could find was two and a half pounds. So I have a lot of this around, and I'm going to use it in this project too. The advantages of barley husk is it's very light in weight, and it conforms inside the bean bag to the shape of whatever you're putting on top. You'll also need a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, because you don't want these barley husk loose inside your pouch. Uh, that's just asking for trouble, and I have had to clean out my luggage on many occasions when it leaked. So uh, I've gone to using a, a small plastic bag inside. The most difficult part can be making your hole through your pouch, especially this pouch, which has multiple layers to work on here. I find that a sharp pair of scissors and some persistence works best.
you see I'm through and just keep working it until your hole is the size you want it now you may have to trim the edges here and that can be tricky If you keep working on it, eventually you'll get a, a nice round little hole. The hole on the inside doesn't matter so much, but you may have to straighten that up a bit too. Of course, the easy solution for this would be if you had a leather punch. But I don't have a leather punch, so I have to work on it with my scissors. All right, with the hole fairly clean, I'm going to insert this rubber washer underneath the belt loop here. Now, if you don't have a belt loop on the back of your pouch, you could just glue the rubber washer to the back of the pouch. Or you could put it inside the pouch. Either way. Use your scissors to line things up correctly. And then apply some shoe goop. This is a silicon adhesive that will work on rubber and cloth and most other things. It's made actually for repairing shoes, but I found it works well for this kind of project. I'm just going to use my knife here to spread it doesn't take much. Make sure you have enough ventilation when you're doing this because the shoe goop is pretty powerful stuff. I'm going to put some on both surfaces. And I'm going to take my little T-nut. I'm going to push this through. And you can see that I'm going to have to trim my cloth back a little bit. But that's not a problem. Make sure it's all the way through. And then to hold it in place. I'm going to take another neoprene washer and I'm going to glue it on the inside. To seal this hole, I'm going to take one more little neoprene washer. If you don't seal the hole, undoubtedly when, not if, but when your little plastic bag on the inside fails, some of the stuffings will leak out. So there it is. Hole sealed. Two reinforcing washers. And the quarter inch tripod mount showing. Now we need to clamp this up so that it can dry. You can stack books on it or use rubber bands. I have these little woodworking clamps which are actually made for the job. And then we'll let it dry for 24 hours. So here we are. 24 hours later, and I'm going to unclamp this. Should be all set to go. Now all we need to do is fill it. Remember I said you'd want to use a small Ziploc bag to keep the barley husk contained. 
in your pouch. I warn you, barley husks go everywhere. No matter how careful you are. So it'll take some experimentation to, to get the right amount of barley husk in your bag. So all that remains is to mount it on a monopod. I use this, I don't know how to say it, Ciru P326. It's a carbon fiber tripod, five sections. So it folds down small enough to fit in my carry-on luggage. Most high quality monopods come with a reversible screw. Three eighths on one end and one quarter on the other. So if the 3 8 inch thread is showing, you need to turn it around so that the 1 quarter inch thread shows. And there it is.